Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. My name is Sister Nonsanta and today we are talking breastfeeding. As we all know, breastfeeding can be the most hmm, tricky thing to do, especially if you're doing it for the very first time. I always tell our first time mummies to say it's not impossible, but it can come with challenges. So um, the minute we get it right, the better for everybody. And there are a lot of issues that can hinder breastfeeding initially, but when we get past all those hindrances, then we are good to go. Initially, the milk that we have is called colostrum, and this is the milk that um, a lot of ladies would be like, but I don't see this milk. How am I certain that my baby is getting enough? Is there anything that I can do to help increase the milk supply and all of that? And I always tell them, we work at the baby's pace. Your baby is the one that builds up their own milk supply. Therefore, you follow what your baby is doing initially. So we want to feed as frequent as possible. Therefore, that's why we promote feeding on demand. The skin to skin that we do initially with the baby is so that the body can be activated in terms of the whole letdown process, which is the process that brings about the milk. Um, initially, your baby's tummy is as small as a cherry. So this is about five to six mils of milk that we are looking at that your baby needs to get. Of course, you wouldn't be able to measure how much your baby has gotten. The one thing that will tell you that your baby has gotten enough, this is when after you fed the baby, the baby's content and they sleep. And as well as you see that white mustache that the baby will have. Because remember with colostrum, sometimes you can't see it with your eye and you're thinking your baby is not getting, only to find that they are getting. This is milk that you are not seeing. With some ladies, this milk is quite uh, sticky, uh, yellowish, and they can't see it. Some ladies start oozing while they are still pregnant whereas some we are dry until you know the day that the baby latches onto their breast and starts sucking and that's when we start seeing and you can feel that your baby your boobs are filling up and that the milk is there by the time your baby is day three the size of the tummy is about the size of a walnut and this is when your baby can handle anything between 22 mils to about 25 30 mils of of, of milk and of course again with breast milk you cannot measure how much your baby is getting so remember when baby is content and sleeping after feeding and uh, uh, um, we're getting enough wet nappies of course and poo nappies then we are okay to say we are feeding enough uh, by the time your baby okay day three day four that's when also your milk changes and becomes more your whitish type typical milk that a lot of us we will see and with your whitish typical milk remember that this milk is constituting of a uh, different components with breast milk we're finding 90 percent of of water we've got carbohydrates we've got protein we've got minerals we've got fats we've got vitamins we've got um enzymes we've got stem cells we also have got um, hormones as as well in the breast milk so therefore this is wholesome milk that your baby needs your baby by the time baby is about day seven your baby's tummy can handle about 60 mils of milk and yes again of course you cannot tell but what tells you will be your baby being content after feeding and sleeping and as well as getting those poo and, and wet nappies that are quite an amount. Thank you so much. That is all for today.